welcome back everybody and in this tutorial we'll be starting off with the usage of chrome.storage API and let's have a look how it works so on the documentation page we are right now and let me go through with the documentation first and then I'll explain you in easy word what the heck all that means so it says us that it's available since chrome version 20 permissions needed are storage all right content scripts fully supported got that overview boring stuff manifest says that you have to declare the storage permission not a problem then here's a little note which says that confidential user information should not be stored the storage area isn't encrypted and by that it means that it isn't storing your data in any hashed or encryption forms and it stores everything in plain text so if you were looking to store the login credentials of your websites the users in Google Chrome um, local storage then you should immediately drop that idea so the next thing we have is the storage and throttling limits so it says that chrome.store is not a big truck it's a series of tubes and if you don't understand these tubes can be filled and blah 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 so coming to the example first example it is creating a function here save changes it's getting a simple value of text area somehow and just a blank check otherwise chrome.storage.synchronize.set value the value function this is a callback function if this was successful then this callback function would execute so this is just simple thing let's see some advanced example so it says a chrome.storage on changed at listener and blah blah blah, blah 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 all that stuff down there so let's get started our own way so here's our previous extension which was the rich Twitter notifier. All right, so let's fix a thing or two in here. First of all, let's change it to um, let's say just a line feeder. What we'll be doing is we'll be just getting a line from the user and we'll be storing it and retrieving it with Chrome.storage. And the description should be stores just a line. I don't need any icons right now so I'll just comment out this code background page not required version should be 1.0 permissions storage pretty much that's it so I'll just remove that and we have got our manifest ready I'll let these key this these files right there reside there okay so now we need a um, the file which triggers whenever we click on the browser icon so browser action should be um, index.html um, this should be default pop-up shouldn't it be and oops here you go reload enable and let me disable it for the meanwhile so that it doesn't just cause any confusion here's the line feeder and since we don't have um, anything to work with in index.html file till now showed us black results so let's populate this a little bit all right so title doesn't matter we'll just create a text area here and here and I'll just assign it an ID save line a script should do fine uh, let me check if I don't if I have similar script no we don't have it so that should work uh, 
and here down here what we'll do is I'll write document dot and we need something to trigger on input type button ID save and value should obviously be save line and that's it so I'll just save document dot get element by ID save dot on click function I hope you're getting me this is all plain JavaScript nothing fancy about here so I just want value to be stored in this variable and uh, let's just alert it for the meantime to check whether this code even works or not so here we have our code and let's see what happens so first of all I'll just remove this thing oh geez that was a big blunder but anyways let's reload this okay that's embarrassing let me check out with console on click of null hmm so let's just bind this whole event in window and let's see if it helps and let's reload this and yes it does so we got the alert as whatever the text we had inside this and the next thing we need to do is I'll just close this that's interrupting a lot so the next thing we need to do is we need to save this um, line inside the chrome storage and how we do that will make use of chrome storage API so I think this tutorial is extended um, over five to seven minutes I guess so that's it for this part of the tutorial and we'll be coding with our chrome storage api in the next one so till then stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and here you go youtube already launched my next google chrome tutorial for you goodbye